this video was like seriously shooting a movie. In um, fact, I expect to be getting an Academy Award nomination next year. Are we rolling? <laughs> Can someone just yell action for me just because I'm crazy? Ready and action! Our challenge wasn't just to create a video or a mini movie as Kristen likes to call it. Our challenge was to create a ship, Quantum of the Seas, in 3D when the actual ship hasn't even been built. Now to do this, we had to go to Hollywood and use some of the most advanced technology out there. We actually used the same technology used on the movie Avatar, even a more advanced and newer version. I don't think it's been used before on any commercial project. We put together a, literally an international team of artists from all corners of the world to bring together an all CG environment using celebrity talent and we literally built this ship from scratch. We started with the projects provided by the designers of the ship. We created the three-dimensional models and we added volume and textures. At the end, we added our people shot on stage. <laughs> what fun! The process was amazing. The sets were incredible. I mean, we took over one of the biggest sound stages at Fox and another time at Universal. And it was incredible for us behind the scenes as well as the actors. I go in, I look at the green screen, and then I look over the monitor, and suddenly there's a whole cruise ship just right there. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, it looks like arenas that I've played in before, and so uh, you just know the production is serious. We always wanted to introduce people into the computer-generated ship to help the viewer feel connected. We shot people on stage, we tracked the camera in real time, used that information to create matching, fully computer-generated backgrounds. So what we're seeing here is representation of uh, the camera in this environment. So I can block out shots, I can zoom in, I can move around, and if we find something we like, we can shoot this clip out and edit it into the pre-visualization piece as a template for a shot that we'll eventually shoot on set. What I normally do is I first gather the data, both from pre-vision, from the pre-visualization artists, gather the information that's coming off the main live action camera. And within Maya, I make sure that everything is not only tracking properly, but everything is coinciding in the same world space. On set, we take uh, models created in the pre-visualization department, and we use them uh, to render a background for, you know, for the green screen. So that you're not just looking at a, at a blank green screen while you're shooting. So you can line shots up, you can look at timing, look at angles, you know, see what the effect of your lens is on the whole scene, and not just the talent in the foreground. Oh, I'm so proud of my godchild. <laughs> Creating this ship absolutely fulfills on Royal's campaign of being wowed. This has truly been one of the most amazing projects I've ever had the privilege to work on. This is a, an incredible, incredible ship. And we just hope that consumers enjoy the movie and love the ship as much as we enjoyed working on the project.